Anyway, casual tutorial time. This episode is going to be about buckets. Buckets themselves are a fairly um, qualitative sort of description. They're not, there isn't a huge, um, strict, um, rigorous definition, but the three basic buckets that people basically know about are, uh, they, they share a particular property that makes them really interesting, which is why I'm going to talk about them here. Anyway, in order to get the most out of understanding buckets, you have to understand green triangles. So, that's a green triangle. Notice the shape of everything. But also, a cool thing about green triangles is you notice that I was holding it in one particular direction. You can also make green triangles that hold in the opposite direction. Okay, and that's pretty interesting, right? So anyway, Three buckets that I'm going to talk about today are all based on that concept, the fact that you can have the screen triangle and hold it backwards. The first one is basically as I showed you there. So anyway, the way that you get into it is by coming across like this, as if you're on land in a C flip, except instead of coming around from the front, you come in from behind. And then you roll that onto the front string, you're now in the bucket. Okay. And you can hold that either with your thumb here, with your index here, or with your thumb here and your index in from the front. That makes a big white space for you to do things with it. You can hop onto any of the strings that you want. You can exit out that way if you want. There's lots of interesting things you can do. So, just, uh, and again, you notice that the interesting thing there is that it's basically a reverse green triangle that you're holding this way. Okay. And so just to review, I guess, an interesting thing you can do, like anytime you see a mount like this and you see so many different strings, you should be thinking, what happens if I land on the other strings? Like, what happens when you land on this string and drop everything? Well, you're in this sort of weird thumb trapeze thing. You can probably think of something to do from there. Or, um, Or if you jump onto the front string and let go of this one first, you're in a green triangle that exits at the front. You can do something with that. And even with all that, you can say, for example, when you're here, if you exit out here, you notice there are so many strings over here that you can mount in from the underside. You can try experimenting with what happens when you mount onto those. So, for example, if you go onto the front string, you're now in just a normal trapeze that you can, say, reject off of, for example. So, that's sort of an interesting thing you can do. So, anytime that you have tons of strings, sort of similar to what I was talking about with the kink amount a while ago, is that when you have so many different string sections, you got to experiment with what happens when you get onto the different sections. And speaking of kink mount, in a way that's relevant to our discussion, from the kink mount, if you pull this end down and in, you're in this bucket. And I, I think that's pretty cool, so... There, that's the first bucket. Um, for convenience, let's call it the and what bucket, because the trick and what does use that sort of trick. The next one is, I think, Usually the first bucket you learn, it's from the trick, drop in the bucket. Um, you should probably know how to do the trick, so I'm not really going to go over it in depth, but that's how you get into it. And you notice it's the same sort of thing. You have this reverse green triangle here, but instead of um, having the triangle going in the front, you have the triangle going in the back. And then also notice you're entering this triangle from the front, whereas in the previous one you were entering it from the back. So that's another one. And a way that I like getting into it is getting into it from a pinwheel. There. Okay. And one thing that I particularly like about this is you have your pinky over here doing nothing. So what you could do is throw the yo-yo off the side, grab it with your pinky, and then you can sort of double or nothing it. Or you can do a 1.5 mount with your pinky, which is cool because generally in the yo and you don't see the pinky do too much, so that's a cool place you can use it. 
And you have the same sort of things here where from this mount you can hop it around onto the other ones. Uh, again, you have the same sort of green triangle thing you can get from being onto the back string and from the front string. If you let go of your um, thumb first and then that, you're in a normal trapeze. You notice that these two mounts have a lot of symmetry there. Basically the same mount, but um, entering the green triangle from the opposite direction and then folding the top string in a different way. Which leads to another interesting thing that's kind of curious is, so this green triangle, notice that it's, so you enter it from the back and you hold the green triangle in front of this top string. You could theoretically, and I don't think anyone would recommend doing it because it's kind of a silly idea, would be to, um, let's see if I can just invent it right now, is have the end what bucket, but mount the green triangle from the front. I suspect that there aren't a lot of good things you can do with this, but it might be worth trying. And you can do the same thing with the um, drop in the bucket bucket, where the uh, drop in the bucket mount, you enter from the front and you hold the green triangle behind the top string. You could try to figure out how to make the mount. I'm not going to do it right now because it would take a lot of time figure out how to mount the screen triangle from behind instead of from the front. Figure out what you can do with that. Anyway, that, those are the two basic buckets. Um, if you want to use them, I recommend uh, messing around with seeing what happens when you land on the different strings, including landing from the underside. And also, if you're looking at ways to incorporate these into the combos you're working on, consider that when you hop out the front, well, when you hop out the top, you can do all sorts of stuff with that, and you can let go of it, and it's safe. Basically, any time that you have one of these buckets, and you hop out the top and front, and do things up in front of everything, you're basically safe to drop whenever you want. And there's one more bucket that has these interesting characteristics with the um, reverse green triangle. And looks like that. That's green triangle. Now you're in there. And this particular bucket, which has a special name, will be the topic of next week's video. Anyway, if you like the video, if you like buckets, let me know. Leave me a comment either on Reddit or on YouTube. That's good. Leave me likes either place if I'm doing things good. Leave me dislikes if I'm doing things poorly, but if you do leave me a dislike, please also leave a comment telling me what I'm doing wrong. That way I can improve, you know? That makes everything better. And if you have requests for future topics, you can let me know. That's cool. Um, if, if I didn't mention it already, subscribing on YouTube helps me, lets me know that I'm doing a good job. And if you haven't been liking it, thanks.